Hey y'all, did you know it's my first winter as a natural girly? Yeah, and I'm experiencing the dryness. I did not expect it to be this cold in Florida. So let's get this wash day going. I'm using the Miel Rosemary Mint line. I've used the mask before, but now I'm getting introduced to all the other products in the line. It was so hard for me to find these products. I guess the type one girlies are experimenting, but geez, and the price went up. Look at my 4C curls popping. Right now, there's no product in my hair. I'm actually washing product out. As you guys know, I use my Dugo product just about every day. So I'm just washing off all that buildup. And another thing, I will be washing my hair once a week because I'm microneedling and I change my needle size so that I can microneedle once a week. It's going to be a pain, but I'm trying it. Plus, I want to experiment because I've gone <laughs> three to six months without washing my hair before, but I've never done the opposite where I've actually taken care of my hair and washed it. So let's see how it goes. So now most of that product is rinsed out of my hair. Before I even touch a shampoo or conditioner, I let my hair just drench itself in water for two or three minutes just so that I can get my hair wet and so that products can actually absorb to it rather than sitting on top of it. When it comes to the shampoo, it was love at first sight. I already knew it was going to be because I love the mask, but my goodness. The only other shampoo that I've been using is TGIN, which I absolutely love, but this one is giving TGIN a run for its money. It was just so easy to use, so easy to maneuver. I never understood this slip word that I heard in the natural community, but now I understand it. This product has slip. It was just so easy to use. Like I didn't feel like I was fighting with my hair. I wanted to show you guys my curls with just shampooing. I haven't even deep conditioned yet. This Miel line is infused with rosemary and mint, and it's catered to strengthening the hair. It's infused with biotin and supports longer, healthier hair. So this line doesn't have a deep conditioner per se, so we have this mask. I've used this mask before when I've used other shampoos and conditioners, but this is my first time using it with the entire line. The products really do mesh and work well together. My scalp was already so clean and my curls were very defined from the first wash, so adding this deep conditioner allowed my hair to just get buttery, buttery soft. Detangling was a breeze. I did not get that many tangles and I didn't get that much shedding either. I used a deep conditioning cap and I didn't use heat this time. I didn't use a blow dryer or anything, but I stayed in the shower for about 10 to 20 minutes and let my hair deep condition and I let it penetrate that way rather than using heat this time around. I didn't review the mask because y'all know I've used the mask before in the past and I absolutely loved it. So it's still 10 out of 10 with me. The only thing I can say is the smell might bother some people. It's like a, a, a minty smell, but it's toned down. It's not too in your face or overpowering, overbearing. So it, it was fine to me. This was definitely one of my easier wash days and it's surprising. The longer my hair gets, the easier my wash days goes. It's crazy. My hair 80% dry. This time around, I did not put any heat on my hair whatsoever. So I didn't deep condition with heat and I also didn't blow dry my hair. I styled it in its natural state. Speaking of styling, I asked you guys in my last video if you would fight me if I put in knotless braids. Your replies had me dying. But listen, I promise you I sat down, I had the hair next to me, and I was about to put in knotless braids, but I stopped myself. I decided to go with mini braids and I'm parting my hair into six equal sections and I'm going to explain that as well. So there are two reasons why I wanted knotless braids. The first one, honestly, is I've been taking care of my hair for 10 months. I just needed a break. And number two, I did change my microneedle size, like I said before, and I went down. So now I can microneedle once a week, and I did not want to take care of my hair and have to deal with microneedling as well. So this Miel leave-in conditioner right here. Let me tell you one thing. When I was looking for these products, first of all, I had to go to three different stores to find these products because they was just taken off of the shelves. But I was going to leave the leave-in conditioner, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just get the whole line. This leave-in conditioner, this is unsponsored, is the best product. Between this and aloe, the best product that I've used on my hair. My hair absolutely loved it, responded well to it. I tried my hardest to get that rosemary oiled, but I could not find it anywhere. It was not in stock. So I was like, you know what? This is my chance to play around with Ayurvedic herbs. And it did not go well. I tried to make this oil mixture. I let it infuse for three days. I don't know what I did, but something in there smells a little bit too strong. I'll put on the screen what I used. I only used five things because I wanted to keep it simple. But something in there smelled so strong. I would walk in a room and it would still smell like my hair two hours later. These are my braids. I'm going to have them in for six weeks. After six weeks, I'll be back. I'll have an edge update and I'll have a length check. I'll be at 11 and a half months natural. 
this is why I parted my hair into six sections is because I'm experimenting with the baggy technique and this is my method of doing it. I'll be doing it once a week for six weeks. I'll come back with the results. Thank you all for watching. It's time to create it, y'all. And go get that Mio line. I love it.